The Catholic media is up in arms over comments President Obama made during a speech while in Northern Ireland for the G8 summit. Obama made what is described as an alarming call for an end to Catholic education in spite of the fact that it is considered a critical component of the church. In front of an audience of about 2,000 young people, including many Catholics, Obama claimed that Catholic education divides people and blocks peace, according to the Scottish Catholic Observer. If towns remain divided, if Catholics have their schools and buildings and Protestants have theirs, if we can't see ourselves in one another and fear or resentment are allowed to harden, that too encourages division and discourages cooperation, Obama said. This article right here just took me back to my roots and my calling. What we just heard in these three paragraphs is yet another precursor and blatant support by the President of the United States for an eventual one world religion, assuming this article is correct. Does the Bible talk about this? I believe it does. This one world religion just might be symbolized in scripture by the great harlot who sits on many waters in Revelation 17.1 and by the woman sitting on a scarlet beast full of blasphemous names in Revelation 17.3. By uniting all of the faiths into one, the way or the road to salvation is broadened and the gospel is watered down and severely compromised, creating a new and false gospel. Jesus told us clearly in his word, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me, John 14, 6. So regardless if Obama said this or not, we know from God's word that this is coming. There are small baby steps being made that are slowly moving us toward the fulfillment of Bible prophecy, and we should continue to keep watch for more groundwork being laid to unify the world into one government and one economic system. He who has ears, let him hear. Beloved, we are commanded to be wise as serpents, but innocent as doves. In other words, because we get our knowledge from the kingdom, we can know what Satan knows and what he's doing without being like Satan or following him. As a matter of fact, the vast majority of those who do follow Satan, knowingly or unknowingly, are walking blindly because their God is the master of deception. Stay in God's word. Seek the knowledge and receive the revelation directly from the kingdom. God bless you. Peace and love.